That would have been cool. I'm just going to go on record. That would have been cool. Good afternoon. I'm calling the meeting to order. I know Nancy's not here, but she's on her way. Thank you for being here today. I greatly appreciate your attendance. You're um, welcome. And thank you, audience, for being here as well. It's great to have other people with us. I would ask for you to look over the agenda, which was sent out last week, but you have in front of you today. Are there any additions to the agenda? If not, I move the adoption. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, opposed, same sign. Agenda adoption. I did the minutes last month. Uh, you have them as well. Um, I sent them out uh, about three weeks ago. If you haven't had a chance, if you would look them over. Um, all those in favor of adopting these minutes say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. I will turn these in. Um, treasurer's report, do we have an update? I know that the township is currently having their audit. It always happens in April, and I know that they are still, Nancy, they are still in the process of doing the audit, so yeah, we don't quite have any new information. Yeah, who have any things here? Dana? Um, have the flower final. Oh, we have to turn on our mic. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, the flower final was dissipa dissipated. Disassembled, spent. So, Dennis Used got up. flowers when he was in the hospital, and the last one I went out to Linda Borrego because she had surgery. So right. But there is no money in the flower fund. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, now it's time in our meeting for public comment. Does anyone have any public comment to start the meeting with? All right, Anyone? old business. First under old business, the Board of Trustees is having a special meeting to discuss the Senior Services Advisory Board and as noted in the Bath Township newsletter that went to probably every taxpayer, the meeting would all, will also be about the Senior Center. As of yesterday when Ryan or someone from the leadership posted this meeting on the Bath community page. It's just about the Senior Services Advisory Board. I told Ryan that it's hard to discuss us without having a conversation involving the Senior Center. Um, I have been in communication with Ryan for the last month to try to get some idea about what the expectations are for the meeting from us what role he expects us to play. Will we be allowed to talk during the meeting? Will we only be limited to three minutes at the beginning of the meeting and three minutes at the end of the meeting? Will this be a discussion which includes us or will we be spoken to? He has not answered me and I've invited him a month, starting a month ago to come to our meeting today. And last night I emailed, I texted him one more time can you, the meeting is today, what can you tell me that I can share with the Senior Services Advisory Board about this meeting on the 29th? And he said that I had to quit being so, what did he call me, a, 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 a raging terror. Uh, that I had to quit being a raging terror and that he wasn't gonna speak to me anymore. All I'm doing is asking him about when what he can tell us about the meeting. Anyways, um, so I don't have any idea, even though I've asked him forever and ever and ever about the meeting. So what I've done is I've developed this, which you have in front of you, and I, I emailed it out to all of you so you would have a chance to read it before the meeting. Um, this is a report to the Bath Township trustees about our work. I feel it's valuable for them to know what we've been doing. I looked through my notebook and at least once a month I have spoken to them about our work. But I felt it was helpful to have it written down for them 
Um, and so I would just be interested in your input on this, which I wrote for us, whether or not you have any suggestions for additional information that might should be in this, and or if you have any thoughts about how we should approach the meeting on the 29th if this is not what we do. Deb? Um, I remember when I, I think my first meeting, or maybe even before that, you and I spoke and you said that um, when you first, yeah, it was just you and I, when you first joined the board, you had said, what do you need? And that you had requested a grant and got a bunch of money to get a new stove and all those things. That was in service as part of being on the board, correct? Yes. I don't see that in here. Well, this is the last 18 months. That's what he's oh. questioning. Okay, when did he say that specifically? That it was about the last 18 months? I mean, I'm, I might have missed it. I, I'm, I'm sure I did. But Well, our strategic plan was a two-year plan. And so what I'm okay. doing is I'm reporting on our work under that strategic plan for the last 18 months. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I... This isn't a criticism. No. This is just an acknowledgement that the things that this board has... Um, brought to the party has been more than chips from the party store. Right. You know, we, months. I mean, we're talking, yeah, Big money. We're t there's, there's history right. along with um, the quality of what we contribute. And so I just, that was my only, my only thought on that specifically. So not a criticism, of course, of this, just an acknowledgement of long-term service. We felt that that was our role to assist the township in development of the senior center. And so I did the research and I found the money and I wrote the grant and Karen edited it. And then when we, this was a big deal, a community impact grant from the community foundation. They chose five to do a presentation to the board of directors for the community foundation. And Ryan, at that time, volunteered to do the PowerPoint and the presentation. Um, and we were then awarded the grant. I can't remember how much it was, $200,000. That was a lot. Um, a, a lot of money. Um, so, and when they came to our dedication, the Community Foundation, they said to us, let us know when you need more help. So we could go back to them, but... I'm under the impression that they, the administration doesn't want us to do anything. I, I think that's a reasonable and so, uh, perception. And so, I, I mean, they've refused to allow me to speak to the staff. I, I'm reported on when I speak to the staff. They don't allow me to speak to the patrons. I'm reported on when I speak to the patrons um, as a group. Uh, the administration doesn't respond to me regarding issues related to the senior center. I did not know that Becca has been assigned to us to represent the administration. Well, and initially, she, as I recall, you didn't know you were assigned she, because no, we she asked. Said, we asked you, and she said, I'm sitting in the corner. I'm observing. Yeah, it's a new development in the last month. But Correct. They haven't told but, us but, that. But the problem we've got is that, because, I mean, let me preface this by saying we love you. <laughs> well, Sorry, I'm going to say that. Um, everyone has been incredibly impressed and grateful. Okay, so I don't. No, and I don't want to speak for everyone, but I think I do speak for everyone on that on that point. Mm -hmm. The point is the communication that we what we, we at the end of the day what we keep asking for is communication. Um, professional, it would be professional to do so. It would be courteous to do so, and it, and it would be. Um, respectful. Respectful. Thank you. That was the word. That was the specific word I was looking for. Um, those those things all would indicate, you know, if we had communication. The fact that you weren't even aware initially um, is proof that the communication has been poor. But it was it was it was um, ungraciously pointed out to us that well, gee, you've been here all this time. So what are you guys complaining about? Because she's here. So to make it look like we're unreasonable. Like we're clearly confused in some way, 
um, to, to basically undermine our credibility as a group who have good cognitive reasoning and you know, we don't have memory issues. We, we asked specifically, we got either no response or we're told, no, that's, that wasn't the role you were serving in, so we kept asking. Because we didn't, we didn't want to put a, bur put a burden on you as being that person. If you're not that person, that's not appropriate. So, you know, we're trying to be respectful in our communication and then it's thrown in our face later like, what are you talking about, people? She's been there. That's not okay. That's, that's what we keep dealing with. It's not okay to, pre to rewrite the narrative and pretend that um, everything we're asking for has already been revealed. It hasn't been revealed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> One of the things is this exact same wording to take it to the Rec Committee, Park Lake Committee. Every single group that I've visited has the same communication. I mean, you, you just take the same words and put it in each group. So is it our fault, or is there something wrong with this board? Excuse me. But rather than hashing and rehashing and rehashing, we know now Becca is assigned to us. Let's just move on because we all like her. We are all grateful. Th that's just I agree. one issue. I agree on yeah. moving on. My point is this ungracious attack on Judy oh. is not acceptable. And here's, here's a clear example of it. And if we're going to move forward, things have to change. It can't be more of the same. And only by looking at the way things have been going can we, can we say, this is what's not acceptable. This is what we're asking. We are not an unreasonable group of people. I'm really, it's exhausting being painted that way. I and, it, and, it's, and it's not acceptable, specifically the disrespect shown to Judy. I... I'm not okay with it, and I'm not gonna, you know, stop saying that I'm not okay with it because it needs to change. And this, the fact that I'll be right with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll defer. No. Yeah. I'll be, yeah. Um, the fact that there, the whole town has been told there's going to be this meeting, and we aren't even. It's about us, and we don't even um, warrant an agenda. We don't even know like the nature, the nature of it, how it's like, what is their vision of it, what's it going to look like. These are common things or what the in the business world is. to make these requests. You know, if you're if you're calling me into a meeting and I'm an employee of a company and there's you know, we're going to talk to you, may I ask the nature of the meeting? If it's a union shop, may I invoke my wine garden rights? I mean, we're going to we're going to ask questions and it's not considered respectful to not say. I mean, I think the best case scenario is it's a, it's a nice thing and they say Trust me, you're going to like it. Just, but, just come, but, you know, that kind of a thing. Otherwise, it's respectful to be told. But Cheryl is on the board, so are you aware of... Heck no, I'm, not, I'm left out of these conversations. Well, but don't they discuss it at the board meetings? No. And what I want to do is read the letter that was sent to you, all of it, to the board and to the public, how disrespectful it really was. And I'll, well, I'll do it I, I don't want to. I'm not asking how disrespectful it was. I'm asking, has the board discussed? No, not to me. But what's they're... happening at this meeting on April 29th? No, not not to Jean, me. I'm on the board, but I'm not communicated to. So who to. knows that information? Uh, probably Ryan and Karen. Karen that's why. That's that was what my I. That's all I feel too. all the time. I'm not one of the board members. I'm sure somebody over there knows what that I feels like. I thought you were a board member. I am a board member. But she's not, they're not, not being including inclusive. Me. They're not putting her in the loop. It's called, yeah. it's called <clears throat> open meeting act to me is violated regularly. Right. Because I don't know G some of this stuff. Jean, I, I asked <clears throat> Cheryl if she would <clears throat> coordinate with Ryan as she is our liaison. And if she and Ryan could set the agenda together and then bring that to us so we would know what our expectations, their expectations of us were, are. Uh, but Cheryl has not been able to get any communication from Ryan on this either. offered anything right. to me. Are we going to email this um, report that you did to all of the board members prior to April 29th? Well, I'm asking you, one, as a group, I did this on my own because I feel like we should tell them something. I have I mean. And I think we should forward it to them 
prior to the meeting so they have a chance to read it. Yes, I, I think that's a good, I, I, I mean, do you want to make that, is that, would that be a motion type of thing? Mm -hmm. Before you, you make, make the motion, sure. let's look at it. I would suggest that we make copies of it and put it in their mailboxes as well as an email. Yeah. Because it's so easy to say, oh, I didn't get the email. If we put it in yeah. their mailbox. Well, and many of them don't love read that. emails. Many of them right. do not access email. I love that. And see, I, I, I love the suggestion, and the reason I love it is because, as I've said ad nauseum, um, with my apologies on that, I guess, I want us to be an example of the way communication should be and how it should be respectful. And I think that's a great example of what that would be. I think that's right. very respectful, I giving think, them a heads up. I think this rather is, than point out what they're doing wrong, let's just do it right for us. Let's email this, let's put it in their mailboxes, and let's be there on the 29th. I agree. They can have this copy back. We can, put, we can, do, it, yep. we can do all of them. You can I've got my extra copy copies. Because yeah. I've got my emails. And I've got, my, got two copies here. So, so we've already got some copies. We don't have to make any, just put them in their mailbox. Yeah. Um, so is there that Jean? Are you making that you a motion? Good, I will, and you did a good job, Judy, on this. Yeah. So I will move that this report that Judy did for the um, work that we've done the last eighteen months be emailed to the board of trustees and put in their mailboxes. Is there a second? A second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, and so who's going to put them in the mailbox? Beg your pardon? Who's going to put them in the mailboxes? Well, we just put the same <coughs> on them and then the will yeah. do it? Or can you? Yeah, I think I, we can't go back there, so. so I can. Cheryl can. Oh, can oh thank you. Cheryl, you said he'll do that? Very nice. Should okay. we put their names on the report? We should. Each we should. Report. Each report yeah. should have a name. And, and I can go in there and copy them, actually, too, because we have I don't copy machines. We need copies. In case. I think we already have I copies. scribbled on the back one. We might need some more. How many do you owe? Oh. Okay, so I we will get them um, in in their mailbox. Karen and, should have one also. And I will email them to email them to uh, the board members Karen as well. Also? Yeah, of course. Okay, sure. okay yeah. Yep. So I make sure. All right. Thank you very much. Next. Update on the Senior Center activities. That's you, Becca. Yeah. Um, yeah. So pretty much this month we're running what we did last month just to see if the new things are going to get a little bit more steam. Uh, so <laughs> we are going to be doing the book potluck again tomorrow. The library is bringing in a mobile uh, books to check out and a mobile unit for that um, along with some of the recommendations they had last month. Um, we also, ukulele the lessons are wrapping up, but there might be some sort of like GM session. I'm still in the works of talking that through. Uh, they will continue in the fall, though. Um, we do have a uh, presentation by one of our officers to come in and talk about scams that are targeting um, the older adult population, just anything out there that's current information that might be useful, so that'll be on the May 2nd. Um, and we are kind of running low on some of like the bigger, more expensive items, um, like the incontinence supplies and everything. So I think, it, and, and the diaper banks around the area, a lot have shut down. And so I'm still in the works of possibly seeing if I can get a grant for that, or if um, <coughs> possibly we might be able to do some sort of drive. I talked to the library and a couple of local businesses <coughs> who might be able to do like some drop sites. So maybe for like the month of June, it'll just be known that if you have extra, if you'd like to donate those, you can bring them to a senior center or these different drop sites. Uh, including the farmer's market, and then hopefully we can get some more of those. <coughs> you know, at one time the basement here was practically full of those. Yeah, we have a lot of smalls and mediums, but the larger sizes are the ones that go, and we just run out of those so quick. So the resources there are dwindling a little bit. So be so. very specific about what we're collecting, I guess, yeah. yeah. So. Also, um, I know my dad lived in assisted living for a while, and when people pass on, they often have things like that that they would be willing to donate. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's just hard to get. It's it's good to get some trickling in, but it's really hard to get like a big supply. So, so that's kind of what I'm working towards. No, that's good. Yeah. Are Thank you also you. referring to the medical equipment as well? That's okay. Um, I have to do an inventory still, so 
still to figure out if there's other things, but the incontinence supplies is the number one thing that is definitely an absolute need. Now, years ago when... Um, Cindy? Cindy Piccolo? No, um, Alan. Alan and I, we cleaned out the shed, we organized and everything like that. There were a lot of supplies that didn't fit in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they went up to the big building or whether they okay. gave them away or whatever. Okay. So, so you, there might be another stash possibly okay. somewhere. Up in the pole barn? Maybe in the pole barn. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take a look up there. That's what I keep a lot of my recreation equipment up there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and take a look um, and see what I can find. Okay, they might have disposed of it during COVID. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But. Okay, I did have one other question then. Um, I heard there were a lot of people that were pleased with the, the movie, Popcorn in a Movie. Um, I'm wondering if that might be, some of them said, well, the movie wasn't that great, but, um, but, the event itself. but they liked the event. Is that something that we'll be able to continue? Absolutely. So um, I know we've done both the movie separately, and then we tried the movie along with like a craft. So I'm waiting to hear the sheet, like the, the uh, attendance sheet, to see which one was better, maybe hear some feedback if you had um, Alyssa announced today that they're going to do a craft in the morning and then movie at noon. So it is yeah. already scheduled and planned. So. Yeah. And so oh. this is what, uh, right yeah. now I'm doing the schedule for, oh, okay. for May and then, like, you know, thinking okay. ahead. Okay. So depending on which one seems to be better received. Um, but yeah, absolutely, the movie will yeah. be in it. I just okay. don't know if it's better to tag it on to another thing that way maybe more people will go. So it's well, great to see. And I think one problem we kind of have, for example, myself, mm -hmm. I get takeout mm -hmm. um, all the time. So and if it isn't on that calendar, mm -hmm. on the back of the calendar, I have no idea... Like, I just, this is the first I heard that we do have a movie and reschedule again this we month. We just heard it today, sorry. <laughs> so. So. How, did, how did we overcome the, the movie challenges that we were told about for so many months? So right now we're kind of working under a very, like, kind of umbrella license. Okay. I was talking, I think I've discussed it before. Yeah. Yep. So as we get bigger, like, and it's fine if this is just, like, a small group that's just kind of doing it on their own. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm with you. If, uh, if it becomes an actual large event where it's going to be actually promoted and actually like that the, we're actually putting this on, that needs to step up to the next level. And I'm still working on that one, getting that one mixed in for like okay. a bigger level for more people. So we have to okay. be cautious that we're not yeah. doing a big promotion yeah. specific to that yeah. so this is more just activity. Like hanging out, watching a movie. Yeah, hey, when with that, we're going to do that. Yeah. Um, our, I mean, are there any, you know, we were talking before, we have a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of, like, old movies yeah. that are pretty cool. I mean, I enjoy them anyway. You know, you can't take it with you. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Well, um, yeah. Talk to Alyssa. Jimmy Stewart is dreamy. Yeah, so I'm just going to say. Right now is doing the, she just kind of just has HBO and she has all her stuff on the TV there. So okay. So kind of whatever is available that she sees, she brings it up and gives a few options. Yep. Whatever one is, you know, picked from the, you know, group consensus, she just puts that one on. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But if you want to bring in a movie, if you can, yeah. absolutely. Totally okay. Acceptable. Can I ask about the sound system? Um, yeah. The, we had a woman uh, from the community who died, uh, I think it was probably 18 months ago, and they collected about $500, which they donated to the Senior Center for an upgraded sound system. The money was given to the administration. Again, that was 18 months ago, and we haven't seen any results of that. I get asked quite frequently by the women who participated in that, <coughs> where is the sound system? I wondered if, do you know anything about that? Specifically earmarked. Noted, or it, it might I think it was. I think it was. It was specifically earmarked. noted. Yeah. Yeah. And so I don't know if that showed up on what I've seen or not, but I'll take a look. And then if not, then obviously uh, we can double check it because 100% if it was just uh, put at the front desk, they absolutely would have made note of that, that it was specifically for something. So oh, it was. I'll just yeah. double check and find out you know, where that went and, and get that. And so it was meant to specifically buy like a new system or upgrade or just. Something the, to improve it, the right? The sound system. 
the sound, that or a new one. I'm the sound sure. system at the senior center, initially it was bingo. You know, it's very difficult to hear them calling bingo. And then they love the movies. I agree, that's what people are telling me. But it's very difficult to hear. If they could go through a speaker system, it would be much better. And, and, and the money has been donated and it hasn't been allocated or spent. And they're frustrated because it's been so long ago and they think it's disrespectful, the seniors. What was it that the, uh, somebody came in and did something with the speakers down here? It's been about three months ago now. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it was from Bonnie Olger. Okay. Yeah, the money. It's Bonnie Olger, and it was ear tag, and I've seen it somewhere, but I don't remember where. I did too. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I will take a look at that and uh, then find it and get moving on updating the sound system then. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Um, you'll see in the um, report that I did, uh, the quote for the addition um, without the basement was $177,000. With the basement, it's $198,000. So um, I've had several people say to me that, uh, geez, that would be great if they don't want to put a basement under there, then <coughs> we could use our senior center expansion money to put the basement in. But anyways, um, I, I, I know that... Um, <coughs> Jean, you had asked Cheryl if she would ask the Board of Trustees if they needed a second estimate on the building. Do you want to speak to that? Did you have a chance to ask the Board no, if I, they need two estimates or can they go with one estimate? I did not ask my folks. Could you do that, Cheryl? Yes. Because that's what's stopping us at this point from going to the Board with this idea. We don't know if they need one estimate or two. And, and they should have that policy somewhere that says if they're going to spend money, they need <coughs> more than one. X oh. number of estimates. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a general. I don't know if I'm much help on this or not, but I know in my role when I look, am estimating anything, whether it be signs or buying something, the rule of them is three. Yeah. <coughs> three estimates and before moving forward. But I don't know if that's three? or not specific. Yeah, but three <coughs> is the number so, I've so always heard. So if we need three of. estimates, we need to get three <coughs> estimates. We need to know the number. Okay. Right, but was that, that wasn't ever brought up, though, as having anything to do why they voted it down. Wasn't it, we no, voted no. it down and keep your, keep your spirits up? <coughs> wasn't that the response? Yeah. I mean, tr I'm not we trying to be facetious. Up, I'm just saying. We have come up with a different approach, a different <coughs> idea for an addition. Well, Not an expansion, but, just adding a room. But adding, adding a room. And we don't know how many estimates we need. But if it seems like if they're going to turn down, if we get six estimates, if they're going to turn it down, we need their acceptance to do it if we get the estimates. But we don't, we don't need their, we don't want them, we don't really want them to approve or deny at this point. We just need to know how many estimates do we need. Then we can go to the board and write up the proposal, and we have so much money in the fundraising fund that we've raised what thirty five thirty eight thousand Dennis isn't it yeah thirty two I thought um, what, what's in there thirty two last I knew, but I think uh, I think they may have added in uh, the fundraiser the, the Dolly Valley. Kenny thing I think they yeah might have so added we in. can. In our presentation to the board, we can say to them, okay, we're asking to do an addition. The addition would cost 198000 We have 32000 of that money raised, so it would only cost the board. So, but we can't go to that step until we know how many estimates they need. Dennis? I think we need to know the procedure because I recall in the past some of the things, the building projects in the township, um, first it had to be approved, yes, we want to do that. Then they did sealed bids and now they set up a certain day and time that anyone could come and they'd open the sealed bids and decide which one to take. So then we've we got to know, know that process. We need to know which process they want us Cheryl. to use to find out what that process is with the board, because she's on the board. I, I got the impression, um, I understand exactly what you're saying, but I got the impression they're not interested. 
No, they're not period. interested in the expansion. We have never mentioned an addition to well, them. What's the difference between an addition and an expansion? It sounds like semantics to me. There is thousands of dollars. There's a difference between an addition and expansion in that <clears throat> an addition would be adding a room to the building and expansion is looking at the entire program and expanding the building to meet additional needs that we have due to growth. So if you're going to do an expansion, it means you rebuild the kitchen. That's expanding well, the kitchen. It doesn't rebuild the kitchen. It added bathrooms, restrooms. Yeah. Expanding. Okay. They're adding the offices. They had offices, some offices. Expanding. Okay. That's a big expansion. Expansion. The yeah. first one was. I now, just. I have a hard time though with the the whole, all of this because, um, it's it's it was needed. It was a necessary thing. So it's hard for me to even come up with a backup plan that's not going to really fully meet the needs when we had the bigger but need. But you know what? We really didn't need that entire expansion. Yes, it would have been nice, but what we need is an extra room for card playing and for activities. That's really where our need is. We don't need to expand the kitchen. We don't need a walk-in well, freezer. We don't need another bathroom. We don't need offices. Our cooks might disagree with you yeah. as to far but as what they need. that's not our fight. Our, our thing is we want more room what for could, senior activities. <clears throat> what good is the room going to do us if we don't have enough places for people to eat? Yeah. Enough, enough um, storage do. for the... But, but we, we have people who are, in a sense, being turned away. They don't have a place to sit. I don't, I don't think people have been turned away in a while. Oh, there are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, and, well, and, but, and but we have an aging population. Away, we're at capacity. We are. We are. And, and if we were to do a 17 by 17 room, we would add capacity. That's not including more room for supplies. That's not including yeah. a larger pantry, the, and a larger freezer, and a larger no. refrigerator. And it tends to be way... The board, the board of Trustees and the administration has to acknowledge that they want to grow the senior center and expand the nutrition program. Yeah. It is our most successful program, and we have outgrown the kitchen. And if they're going to build to meet the new capacity, then they have to go with an expansion. If they don't want to acknowledge that we have outgrown the kitchen, we still need additional space for people to sit at lunchtime. Right. right. But also, I mean, just from a... Um, a construction point of view, if we do an addition now of just 17 by 17, then they're going to say, well, we just spent money on that. In five years when we're again busting at the seams, it's going to be so much more expensive to go forward. It's, it's, it's much cheaper to do a full on what we need now than to do this add, but they've add, us add. Down. Can't we get, we can go for grants, correct? Well, I don't think that's our, I'm not sure that the Board of Trustees would agree that that's our role and our responsibility, but the Senior Center, senior center is eligible for grant funding, yes. So if it's not us, who can, who is willing to go ahead and go for a grant to get us a larger facility? It would have to be the administration. I'm just, I'm concerned that, you know, we, we've asked, what's your specific concern about this expansion? And, and we, <clears throat> it feels like the figure, we're figuratively being patted on the head and being told, it's okay, you know, we really appreciate y'all, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, don't give up, but the answer is no. That's not, that's really not okay. I mean, we've got They never thing. even discussed it. They never voted on it. It just was passed over and not put in the budget. It's, and it's been, it took me almost a year to get us open five days a week. It, we're not still not back to pre-COVID levels. And I have been the only one arguing there for it. And it's like, we need a new board. I'm sorry. It just, I, it's, I, it's, I, it's, I, I keep um, coming back to that too. And I don't, I don't want to be in an adversarial position against our board. But if they don't communicate, they've yeah. given us nothing to work with. We, we have no place to go. Like you said, they've turned us down. But so what do we ask for? The Taj Mahal. 
No, they we did not. Oh, yes, we did. The no, darling, I'm sorry. That was not the tar the, I shouldn't have said darling. That sounded disrespectful. Of the I didn't kitchen, mean that. The bathrooms, the offices, like everything. Parking places. Like everything. Okay. They turned that down. Are we going to then just say, okay, they turned it down? No, we're coming back with another idea that would be much less money. And we don't know if they'll approve it, but we're at least trying. Will you approve this additional room? It would give us more room. Yeah. Well, I agree that I don't think it's sensible to just do a room and put put right. that kind of money into Patch it, it when we need more. It feels but very patchy. We need yeah. more. We need to work on something. We need to get somebody that's willing to. Go ahead, Becca. What are you I thinking? Don't want to Like a, a completely just, I was just thinking if, whether it goes to the board, whether it goes to getting a grant, wherever it goes to, someone's going to want to see numbers, right? Data. What if we do an actual like needs assessment where we actually do some surveys, we talk to the kitchen staff, we actually look at the numbers and the attendance of who's showing up for what and use that to speak for itself as a needs assessment. And then that way, then after that's compiled, then maybe decide where to move forward, where if it's like, okay, well, maybe if it is just something small in the kitchen, there's a ton of grants for that, so you just move forward with that. Or, you know, but maybe first do like a base needs assessment. I think that's a great idea, and I, I, I will say that we have provided the board with the needs assessment for months until the administration stopped providing us with data. You couldn't, they do not provide us with data. They were supposed to at least put it monthly in the Friday report. We were supposed to, we were supposed to see that data every month. We have not seen data like that in six months. They're keeping us in the dark and it's intentional, I believe. Um, but it is important to have the data to prove that the need is there. What kind of data was being reported? The number of people who come for meals, takeouts, the reason so many people take away their meal is there's no place to sit at the table. Was there like any like survey data or anything, or was it pretty much just numbers? Actual numbers. Numbers. I think it was numbers, but remember, Ac she's not allowed to talk to people. Yeah. None, so of us, again, we're, none of us are allowed to talk to people, so like you would have to be the one to go talk to the cooks and get the information. For me. Perfectly fine. Yeah, I would totally take on that role and okay. kind of leave this for you guys, absolutely. Um, and, you know, with your guys' help, I think we could probably compile... Like, you know, that would be yeah, awesome. Like some good information over the next few months, maybe, and then kind of reevaluate which direction would, would that be helpful? Like somebody like, told me that they, they need more room for food. If we're going to do more meals, we need more freezer that's what space. I've been told too, it was a build freezer out space freezer space. space. Yeah, it was storage, talked about. Yeah, before being able to provide for more people, I know that's a need. Oh, right. But yeah, it's just kind of so it's, just hearing a few needs. But it'd be helpful to actually have something to back it up so we can say this is needed and then show why. What if we um, take this month and next month we come <coughs> with specific questions we think would be helpful and we'd make, compile them and then and we, hand them I all, just put on the agenda over. that we are going to talk about this at the meet, next meeting, which we get the one postponed. Yeah, but I mean, let's, let's, let's really give some thought to this. I mean, you know, you, you come by yourself. Would you... Would you come with your neighbor if, if there was more room? Would you, I mean, think, you know, specific kind of questions. Is there someone that you would bring, but you don't feel like you can because you never know, you know, if there's going to be enough seating. I mean, these are all important things. Um, you know, I'd like to come with my dad, but there, there's not room, you know. If, if uh, senior children wanted to come with their senior parents, there's not room for that. No way, you know. So. I have a neighbor just this last week. She said, I have to now go to the senior center an hour early to get a place to sit because she said, sometimes if I wait too long, I can't find a place to sit. Let she told me just to last week. Parking. Let alone yeah, parking. And parking. parking. Yeah, and she, is, uh, she needs handicapped parking, and that fills up quickly. And include programming. What kind of program? If we're gonna, you know, actually get some feedback and some helpful feedback, and just, it, you know, that might be a good direction to go. And yeah, I would 
be, you know, kind of It would be wonderful to have a paid staff person doing our work, doing work <laughs> with us. I mean, we've been doing this work as volunteers for years, and it would be fantastic if we had your help with that. I would greatly appreciate grateful. it. Mm -hmm. And um, divisions of like, this is what we need maybe in the kitchen. I'll talk to the kitchen staff and see what's needed there. Maybe we talk to like, you know, actual people showing up from, just for meals and talk about, okay, if you do take your meal, why do you take it? Do you want to take it? When, where would you, if there was a place to eat outside in the summer, would you do that? If there was, you know, just a whole needs assessment on meals, and then maybe we could do another section of programming. What would you like to see for programming? So just divide it up into these different I like the idea of that. I was going to, okay. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, okay. to, so it's not overwhelming, too. Yeah. Because it can be, if there's maybe just... Maybe if you just never eat meals here, maybe you want to skip that section, it doesn't apply to you anyway. Maybe you're just interested yeah. in programming or... So let's, yeah. How do we feel about just having Becca um, just go, just run with the the uh, kitchen staff? Like, like to actually just ask questions, or do we want to do we want to have input on those kind of questions? I think it sh it's it's appropriate for her to do that since we're not allowed to speak to the kitchen staff. But I mean, also like, but do we like do we have strong feelings about the kind of questions we want asked? I feel I personally feel kind of comfortable with her asking the kitchen staff. I I feel she's very tuned in to the kind of questions to ask rather than have that part of it wait. Oh, yeah, I agree. Are we okay with she her running with more, that? Much more than I do. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's oh. how I feel, too. And Are we okay with that, everybody? Next month, and yeah. then if you guys have all, some more questions for the meals and programming stuff. For the people sitting there. Guys, we could start putting it together. <laughs> that would yeah. be awesome. Yeah, I would be grateful for that. Yeah, I think it would be And then if there's great. more questions you want me to ask, if you think that you have a few more questions about the kitchen that gives me time, to go back and do that. I love it. I'd like, like to get it on the next The meeting. thing that I get coming back to over and over again is that right now, currently in Bath Township, 27% of the population is over the age of 55, right now. Now, we're not serving all those people. We're not serving even 1% of those people. But as they age, we need to be prepared to provide them programs and services. And without really seeing that and looking to the future. This is not for today that we're talking about. It, even if it were going to happen and were funded this year, we really need to have, for the township mm -hmm. to look to the future and be preparing for the future. And maybe it isn't that building. Yes. I, right. Maybe, maybe I, because right. the parking is limited. Maybe it isn't that building. And but again, we know cost effective. To, but we, to keep tacking on. Yeah. It may, you, you, you know what I'm saying? It may it also because it may not be cost effective to keep tacking on to the existing structure. Right. It may be more cost effective to have a different location. And the township yeah. the township owns like fifty seven beautiful pieces of property around town, around the township. And any number of them would be a number of them could be good locations for a new building. Um, so I, I think we need to start at the professional level. I think part of the problem that the board has with us is they don't see us as professionals. They don't treat us as professionals. They don't respect us as professionals. They don't even know what our backgrounds are, and they don't, in my opinion, they don't care. But if the information is coming from what they view as a professional, maybe it will be more impactful. Thank I you. Think that's lovely. Any other thing on that? Any other info? Anything else on that right now? So, what did we decide? We're going to wait, and Becca's going to take the. We are going to come up with our questions for those who actually participate in getting meals. Okay. We're going to. We're going to. What for questions the we needs, want? Whether we go with an addition. No, I'm no still specific asking to like. Do you feel there's enough room? Get the information. The procedure. The procedure. procedure. And okay. programs as well. Yeah, yeah, pro, yeah, we're going to come up with that. She's going to specifically run with questions for the kitchen staff right now, so that doesn't wait, because she already has more knowledge about that than we do to come up with questions. We're going to come up with questions for those, the guests. We're going to do the questions? We're going to come up with questions for the guests. And so we're going to ask for those. volunteers who might like to help with that? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying let's, let's, let's think about that this month and bring our questions to the next meeting All right. and go through them. All right. And then prepare them to give to her. Yeah, at that point, if, you, if we decide that we all like those questions, if there's no more to add on, then we can just funnel them to me, get them to me, and then I can come up with an actual like survey to actually then 
start getting out to the community, get out to the senior center, and start collecting the answers. That sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Becca. But that's still different than what I asked yes. Cheryl for. Yeah, please yeah, restate well, I yours. I need to ask the board, and I'll, I'll put it on the agenda for the next meeting, which is what, about two weeks? It's in three before, weeks. Is that before Doesn't our matter. meeting? No, it's after. No, after. What oh, well, the next meeting is April 29th. So you can give the administration your agenda items today, and they should appear on the agenda for the meeting on the 29th. There, that's the fifth. Monday of April and they weren't the township board doesn't meet on the fifth Monday of any month So they set this special meeting about the senior services advisory board for the fifth Monday because they wouldn't have a regular meeting They set it at six o'clock because that was when their regular meeting would be if they were meeting It's my understanding that now they were all they will only have the senior services advisory board meeting for one hour, and then they will go into another special meeting at 7 o'clock in which they will talk about, I was told, a police fire millage. But it could be on that agenda. They, they, you still have time to get it on that agenda for the April 29th. Right. I don't, I don't even know if, does it need to, isn't this process somewhere written out? How many estimates you need for something no, like this? I mean, does it need to wait to go to the board on the 29th? You don't know the answer to that. I no, don't, I don't know the answer. Well, well, yeah, we're, we're... I guess you could ask the planner. Ask Miles if he knows. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, so, so the next item in the end is, on, is the hiring of a program corner. Jenna quit at Christmas time. And um, last Friday, in the Friday report, jobs available at Bath Township were listed in the Friday report. A full-time DPW worker, a part-time DPW worker, a part-time cook, and something else, part-time, oh, a full-time clerk. There was no posting for the program coordinator, leader, director of the senior center. And so I'm just wondering if anyone knows what you know, Becca? the process is or what's going on. So for right now, uh, it's just been decided that I'm just going to absorb the programming uh, duties that Jenna was doing. And then Linda will be continuing to you know, take money and do that part and actually be over there. And then staffing between Alyssa and Izzy on the Tuesdays and Thursdays to also help run programming. That does. Um, mm. They won't be hiring another another coordinator, at least not in the near future. What happens to the people who need services? Mm -hmm. I mean, I I, I I I have people call me because there's nobody to go to at the senior center when they need services. So, it's pretty, so that, that and are, are, I'm I'm sorry, but are who will be present? Linda mm -hmm. is uh, she's the greeter. She takes the money, but who's going to be? the leader for the whole senior center and help to see that it moves forward. I mean, I guess that would be fall between me and Taylor. But Taylor? Day, yeah, but daily just uh, functioning over there will be run by a combination of, depending on the day. The dishwasher and the uh, greeter. Are you scheduled, Becca, to be there any particular day? I'm scheduled, but I do attend different the uh, different programming that I do run and so I try to make myself visible over there and be there for uh, you know at least a couple times a week I try to stop by over there for different events thank you has any any other board members ever go there there haven't been no this year Not anymore. or last year or the year before. Uh, new business? Uh, no new business. Uh, uh, I, I have one request, Judy, that I keep the calendar up over at the Senior Center, and I will be gone July through October, so I can have those calendars ready for someone, but they need to be posted. And I, right now I post two months at a time, so right now April and May are up there. I wait for the 
menu to come out and then I add the extra activities on there. But um, I need someone to do that for July through October. Is there a volunteer? We'll get it taken care of. Okay. Yeah, we'll so will you? Out. Figure it out. Nancy, can you and I do it together? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good at following. All right. I'll I can, have it ready. I can, I can jump in and help, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I, I, I'm too. okay yep. with jumping in, yep. too. I just... I, so yeah. if you give it to Dana, then we'll get it done. Okay. Not to worry about okay. that. Um, a BOT update. Uh, do you have anything to add? Nope. Since we had our last meeting canceled and whatnot, but I've got a list of things to do. Okay, so the superintendent report, I was told in an email from Karen that she will not attend our meetings any longer, so that we should not expect a superintendent's report. Public comment. Marie? I have a quick question. More for Becca than I can't hear you. I have a question, but it's more for Becca than it is for the group. When, when you're talking about what you're going to do, is there going to be a report? What do you mean? Like a formal report? Right. When the questions that you're asking, Cook. that you'll submit, so that next month you'll be able to come up with something by understanding what you're saying. You'll think about questions. You'll submit them next month. They'll go to, to Becca. From that point, what questions then do you ask the kitchen help? Will they know what Oh, okay. Yeah, so there'll be a report. Yeah, yeah. Says, it will okay. be a formal yeah. one, but I will. I'll ask questions. I'll have them the in front of me. Right. I can even you know type them up and share them. And okay. then awesome. when no, we, that's yeah, it'll be sharing of information informal. Yes. And here's okay. my because I wasn't hearing yeah. that. And, and then once sure. we compile it, I'm picturing an actual like more formal like actual packet of information okay. with all the answers and survey results and. So you're looking at an extended length of time to do this. Oh yeah, probably months we're looking at. Okay. To do it right. That is that see that's what I guess I was trying to figure out. If you're talking an extended length of time, then that's something that like till the end of this year kind of thing. I or mean, I picture probably about three months to probably do okay. a property needs assessment. It doesn't even I thought so too. Long. Just, I was thinking about three months. I was yeah. thinking about three months. That's yeah. I guess that's, that's my hope. About. The other thing that I had, and this, this is for you or whoever can answer it, when you talked about the donation that was made for the sound system, when was that done? Huh? 18 months ago, they said. I... It's been a long while. I'm not sure the exact date. And it was Bonnie <coughs> Olger. Oh, well, we can look was, for Bonnie Olger's uh, And it was done by the Red obituary. Hatters. The Red Hatters is, okay. are the ones that donated it in Bonnie Olger's name. So, so that should have been something, I, I guess I'm trying to figure out my position. I, that's the first time I heard about it. So that's what I was thinking, was that prior to yes. my, okay. Yes. So it should have been, so it's after the fact. It was after her death, but before your departure? Yes. Yes. That's what I was trying to figure out, mm -hmm. because that's the first time I, I heard that. So you're looking at the sound system dollars that were donated, earmarked for a sound system, mm -hmm. right, which haven't been spent yet. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time I had heard about it, that there was even a donation. And that's what I guess I was questioning. So I, there that was some donation should have been in the budget under senior services. You should have had donation listed, correct? Because they... Well, they didn't spend it. No, so it, but it should be there. It should, it should appear as a Become donation. A line item. With, under the line of donation, you should mm -hmm. have a dollar amount earmarked. For a specific purpose. Technically, it should have been put in some kind of escrow account. Yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. it was Butter. $550. I think somebody okay. corrected it. Mm -hmm. right. Again, that would have been in the 24 budget. It was donated, yeah. Well, it was donated budget. in 23, 22 even. I don't remember seeing that in the budget. I guess that's what I'm trying to... That was new to me. Thank you. It's still not in the budget, so to the best of my knowledge. And ma'am, I'm sorry, do you don't know you? Uh, no. My. She's my sister. 
great. Do you have any public comment? I think it's a very interesting process. I think that some of the roadblocks are possibly not solvable in the in the current uh, administration duration of power structure. That's Good observation. Well said, you. Good. Yes. <laughs> well said, you. Yeah. What, what is exciting is to see the enthusiasm for things being done in a thorough fashion, communicated in a thorough fashion, and then people being able to give feedback to one another, having the information in front of them in print. Thank you. That's all. Thank you very much. We're glad to have you with us. That was good. Judy, haven't we already asked questions when we had the community forum or the community get-togethers when we did the, all the, what did you call them? You know, we did it. Community conversations that yes. we had? Yes. Haven't we already got those questions and answers? The community, the community conversation uh, was not directed at a specific, at, 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 it wasn't in the form of a specific needs assessment. It's very interesting that um, the, one of the important things that the community conversation did point out is that we don't utilize the space very well. Uh, the building is there from eight to five, five days a week, and to just serve lunch on Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, and to utilize the center from 11 to 1, three days a week plus bingo, is not a good utilization of the space. That we could use the space better, which is why we pushed for five days, because then they could take that space and do the programming and the activities and the events and spread them out. I went to chair yoga today. There was hand and foot. There was a woman trying to do a hearing test. There were the staff in the kitchen making lunch with the radio on. It was crazy. Where if we would take the time that the center is open and spread the activities and the events and the programs out over those five days, we wouldn't feel so cramped. But it doesn't solve the problem that we only have 85 chairs at the table. And what the staff told me last week was, unless it's a meat and potatoes day, they have the DPW staff take, uh, take the chairs out so we only have seats for 70. The only time they put 85 chairs in there is on a meat and potato day. And otherwise, they take the extra chairs out. And they have the DPW bring them back in on meat and potatoes days. And in my opinion, that's wrong. Any day, anyone should be able to go in there and have a seat. And we should have seats at the table for 85 people. That's my opinion. So how do we get the 85 chairs there all the time? Who do we have to go to to do that? You can't have 85 chairs because um, 85 is the capacity, so you have to take out staff members and then have that many chairs. Well, you can. the staff has to sit down, too. They are counted as capacity. Well, yeah, building capacity. Staff, building right. capacity. So right. you can't have 85 seniors there plus the staff. You right. can only have 85 people. Right. So, And they don't, a lot of them, well, okay. So say there are five staff people, then you can have 80 chairs. 80 chairs. And how and many? she says the staff eats too, but, you know, then you got somebody, I don't know. And we used to have the stack of chairs up in the corner. Mm -hmm. Why that changed, why Karen, I assume, is the one that changed it. Yeah, why, why she did that. Why would you take them I don't out know. Yeah, why they she, go in the corner? Well, they just put them in the corner like we used to. Same thing, we used to have extra tables. Mm -hmm. We even have a table rack. What I don't happen to that, I don't know. And you might check when you're there, too. We have six to eight extra round tables. Mm. I would appreciate if you'd check there. Um, and there's a rack that holds those extra tables that we used to keep there. No, no. So if we needed them. We never had extra round tables there. We did because when I was in there, um, Alan and I, we bought the extra tables. And then they, they moved the other tables. Yeah. They were there in the corner. 
That's kind of what's interesting is when when buy extra tables out of their own pocket. When we when we it came it came out of our fund. When we expanded the seniors, when we expanded the kitchen, we lost 400 square feet of usable space in the senior center, and the senior center was promised that the township would replace that space, that lost space. Hmm. And we've never gotten that space replaced. So that should be definitely addressed when we go and ask for an addition. I have spoken to the township board about that. I have brought it up. But many of the township board members, like they don't have the history that many of us have with the senior center, so they don't know that. You know, so I speak to them every month about something related to the senior center. And I, bring, I have brought that point up to them as well in asking for the expansion or the addition. And I have, dis, I have shared with them my definition of the difference between an expansion and an addition. They've heard it from me. They need to hear it from others. What's frustrating to me about this meeting on the 29th is when that went out in the township newsletter that it was up to be about the senior center. The next day, all the seniors were asking me, well, can we come? Should we come? Is it important? Can we be there? Are they going to talk about us? Are they going to close us? And I said, well, it says it's about the senior center, and we'd appreciate it if you're interested in, com in coming that you come. I have another comment. Judy, is it possible to take a screenshot shot of what you texted to Ryan in his response because that kind of response needs to be made public. I want to make I will bring it at the board if you if you will give it to me and without your permission I will share it with the public and the board and the board needs to understand what he is treating her like. I feel it's, very strongly about it's that. It's not just him. No. No, it's but it's, it's a start with your it's a start, start of how no, the board is treating us. these people. The, the other and another the is other example when, is the um, when when Judy was asking, and I don't remember what that specific original email was, but Karen responded, and in her response at the end there was a an unpleasant addition about, and by the way, can you get us the, mi the minutes of the meetings? Oh, yeah. Because we haven't had any since December, implying this big, this big length of time when really they were missing one, one month. because the other one hadn't been approved yet so where they would have it, and then the third month we hadn't even had the meeting yet. So there was only, they were missing one, but yet it was, and, but here's my problem. If she was concerned, Okay, I I'm okay with her being concerned. That is a, that's a, that's a, to you. That's an email to you saying, "Hey, I don't have any minutes, and um, you know, I'm wondering about that." That's not a public shaming, but it did turn into a public shaming. That's what it was. Now Karen did apologize to me because I brought to her attention the fact that you're missing one, and she said, "Oh, you're right. I was thinking about you know." She didn't say you're right. <laughs> Because I said to her, maybe you're thinking there should be more because we're in March. However, here's the situation. My concern is we're, the respect that you show someone is your private in criticism and your public in praise. And we don't have that kind of dynamic at all. And that was an attempt to embarrass you. That was blatant. It's not okay. It's not okay. It was, for one thing, it was invalid, but it was also not okay to do. You know, there, there are ways to, to do things professionally and courteously and graciously. We need to bring the grace back in, and we're just not, it's not demonstrated, and it needs to be. And I, I, I just, I, I know I've said it before, but Judy, I, you're so long-suffering, and I'm so, I'm so grateful for you. I'm grateful for all you do, and I'm so sorry that you've got this target on your back, and I, I don't understand it because it shows a real lack of understanding on what, again, what you bring to the party. It's almost a jealousy. Or but something. I think we need to be, we need to be the you. ones to demonstrate it. We have no control over them, so we need to be the ones to demonstrate it to them. Well, and my email demonstrated it, did it not? Yes. My email was very respectful. It did not shame. 
it said, you know, I understand you're, you know, you're saying this. However, here's the actual situation. Perhaps you're thinking this. It was very gracious, and it was intentional to be gracious. My, my request, my desire was not to shame anyone, um, but to be an example of how we communicate. And I think it went, it did go well, but I would just love for once to see an apology mm. for the, um, for that type of uh, interaction. I just, I would yeah. be, and it would go a long way. It really would for everyone. Any other comments? For, thank you. Any other comments from the board? Are you willing to give us a cut snap uh, of the email you, or text you sent him and the one he sent back? Are you willing to share that or not? It's bad. He, he, he Are you willing he, to he share would, it? He would be, I, I, I don't, it was I don't name think. name calling. I, I don't think it's appropriate. It was that bad. I don't it's think it's horrible. appropriate. It's horrible. But, but how are we going to stop this if it's not... If, if we, we don't shine a light on it, we get, light it on has it. to be presented. It, that was, that was the a public have the right to know? Is the what public has a right to know what our, as a board member, to me, and I'm, I, know, I know how you feel, Judy, but that was disrespectful. It was horrible. As far as I'm concerned, any board member who treats a person who works as hard as this lady does on so many things does not deserve to be in power. And our public needs to know that. It needs to know how damn bad it was. I, that's how I feel. I, I couldn't believe it when she read it to me. I felt the same. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it should, I don't think it should be swept under the rug. And if you don't want to do it at a board meeting, um, how else can you bring it forward? I mean, our board members need to know and if they accept that, then that's where this township is. What they did to Marie, this is just a continuation of the same bad behavior. I'm embarrassed to be called a trustee the, in this township. I have to say, the only idea I can come up with <clears throat> is, um, is for Ryan to be told, we are going to make this public. We would prefer you make it public. We prefer that it come from you, that you fully disclose what you said and that you and that you acknowledge it and that you apologize for it that it come from you as opposed to an attack it comes from you giving you the opportunity to say what i did was wrong um he'll that to me that's that's the most grace he'll make it sound sweet and print it oh he'll act like it was all meant to be cutesy uh-huh He'll, he'll say, yeah. It's like when I was when I when I was when I was reappointed to the board, this board by the trustees. Ryan's comment after they voted to, to reinstate me was, "Oh my God, we have to put up with you for another four years." Right into the microphone. There are there are situations where mm -hmm. that could be funny, like if he was. You guys were known to be like best buddies. You know what I'm saying? There are right. there are can there are, can be context right. for that. Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of context in meeting. our current. I know. I'm just saying, like, if the whole mm. town knew, oh, you guys are like your 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 best you're, buddies. But we, since we don't have that, unfortunately, that kind of joking is not appropriate. No, it isn't. Not. It's and disrespectful. It, it, well, it, it, you know, I agree with you. I'm just saying. We just don't have those kind of relationships where we can, where that should be happening. Do we have any control? <clears throat> Obviously. Well, what with our with our votes, but again, I would rather. What? I don't know what else to say. I I'm. That's the only idea I could come up with. What do you, you want? Know? Do you want nothing to be done about this? I think shooting? you have a good yes. idea, by the way. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's the above reproach approach. Yes. To say we're going to give you the opportunity, it's almost like I think that you find out your best friend's husband's cheating, and you say to him, "Okay, listen, you're going to tell her by tomorrow at noon, or I'm going to tell her." You're giving him the chance to come clean first. She wants nothing to be done. I think it's disrespectful on my part to share it with anyone. I just, 
I, I just, think you have to take the high road. I really that do. That is what I feel the high road yeah. is. Oh, I do. Gee, guys. So you're thinking she should do nothing? Come on. Nothing. <laughs> I think I think that. making somebody say something. Does anyone have these reports or threatening? The township board say if you don't, we're going to. It's not no. taking the high road. I think it's I think it's the closest to showing light and yet still giving them the opportunity to um, to show remorse. If Judy far, does to grow, something, to grow from it, if Judy does something person, on her own, that's up to Judy. She doesn't but want to do anything. This is no. Not and, and we'll, we're, we're, we're asking her because we intend fully to respect her decision. That's our respect of her. I want these. And we'll and we will. That's we'll follow through with that. Nancy has one. I have one. What? Do we, anyone have any of these reports? I'll turn them into the office. We're gonna this one. we're gonna write their name on them too, so they make sure they get in the right mailbox. Yeah, I'm gonna. I've got the list right here. Okay. Um. I I printed one from home. You can have. Here's mine. Okay. I wrote on mine. That's all right. Okay, well, you can Judy, keep I guess one. if you... So I need yeah, eight of them. We'll respect your... Anything, can you pass this one? Then we will... I mean, you, it's, your, yeah. it's your decision. You don't want to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Then, right. right. I can do what I want. <laughs> I got no control over you. None, no, none, none at all. At all. <laughs> you, are, you are what they say, loose cannon. That's, that's what yes. you... <laughs> there's all the straps are gone. I'm loose. Out there he goes, and I just say, oh... Cover my head, that's all I can do. <laughs> so I have six of these. We need two more. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think what would I do if I got a message like that? I would be livid. And I think I would be at the board meeting say, listen, this is what this person said to me in a personal text message when I sent him this message. And read it for the record. And I'm mm -hmm. on tape. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's what I would have to do. Mm -hmm. oh. It's if it was coming from Nancy, you know If it's coming from me what? I wouldn't do anything because you're a friend. Oh okay. Well, it's time to end your reign of terror. He, here's <laughs> what? Here's the the irony. Did he say that the the he stood right there and said well, feelings have been hurt on both sides, and we need to start yeah. fresh. And we said, you know, it's our feelings aren't hurt. We just are being disrespected, and we're not getting professional communication, um, and that's not okay. You know, if your staff's feelings are hurt because we're trying to hold them accountable for not following through and not giving us information, that's unfortunate. But we're not being disrespectful in our requests. We're simply asking for things we're entitled to. And so that's, it's not okay to sit here and put the spin on it that we've hurt your feelings. It's, this is your job. This is the job of these people. So find a different profession. I hate to say it, but you're not being sworn at. You're not being insulted as an individual. We're not calling you names. We're not raising our voices. We're just saying, please follow through. We, we need this information. And... I know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm sad. I'm Me too. sad about it. Okay. Okay. Call for adjournment. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you all for your service. Appreciate it. Huh? I'm going to go off the record. You keep talking about Trustee Blitz. You have six other people who are sitting there. We're assuming what you're saying is that's done in the vacuum. And the other six don't know. They, they don't, don't know. Well, and, and 